hardest thing for me to do coming into this job was keeping Slash's guitars in tune. You know, Slash pays with a pick that is so thick, and you know he really lays down the guitar. But the fact that he's in tune, it's like mind blowing half the time. So Ace is, Ace is doing his job. It took me a while to learn it. It's by feel. It's a matter of stretching them and tuning them and playing them myself and bending notes. And there's a whole lot of voodoo witchcraft. We pick what to bring on the studio. First of all, we grab the the Appetite Les Paul. I think it's like an 85 or 84 Chris Derrick custom Gibson copy Les Paul. <laughs> and I've been using that since the first Guns N' Roses record, and it's pretty much my mainstay for all sessions. And then to balance it out, you know, we, we have a couple different choices for rhythm guitars. I have a Melody Maker here. I have a couple Juniors here. I have an Explorer here. I've got a ES-175 and I've got an ES-135. The 135 was Elvis's, and it just has this great sound. It was the great sort of counter sound to my regular guitar, the Derrick guitar. I brought a bunch of pickups Seymour Duncan gave us and made for us, and we'll swap them out to try out different things. I know inherently how these guitars sound. So I sort of have an idea in my head what I'm gonna use for particular parts and songs and stuff. What's been interesting is trying to figure out what the other guitar player sound is gonna be. Um, and that's been just a lot of trial and error and experimentation. Is it so dirty that it's like compressed sounding? I can lighten up the front end of the amps. Yeah. Yeah. You sit there, you try one guitar, and you play it for a minute. You go, this isn't it, and you think about the sound that you're looking for, and you you guess. You think, well, maybe the junior is going to be right for this kind of thing. A lot of cases, something like that will work. Or if it doesn't work, you just keep going through guitars till you land on the one that's like, that's it. This has definitely been a sonic adventure as far as guitars and amps, more so than I've, I've done in a long time. Mm -hmm. 